Well, this week there's no yard sailing as well. I am on my way to Sarnia for a family get together, Sarnia, Ontario, but today I'm in London, Ontario, and I'm gonna do some thrifting here. I'm at the Value Village that's just off the 401. It's huge. I'm gonna go in, check it out, see if I can't find any goodies. Now, I've been to this Value Village quite a few times and uh, it's hit or miss, so, but it's really, really big and I'm also looking for a cooler because I forgot to pack a cooler. So let's go in here and hopefully find one. It's massive in here.
So that was pretty good. I got Frady Cats, the board game, and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, definitely dinosaurs, a Polly Pocket set. Too bad those aren't the actual figures that go with it. Bananas and pajamas, so it cost me about 50 bucks, but there's way more than $50 in value just in this board game. All right, so I managed to find another value village. And uh, last time I was here, I found a Dino Rider. So let's see if I can uncover one now.
Oh my god, these are hilarious. Normally I yard sale every weekend and I didn't get a chance to do it this weekend, but if I see one on the road, I'm gonna have to. There's stuff in there. These are some cool ornaments for two bucks. She'll be around. She yeah, you'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust her. So I'll put a pile together and then I'll I'll go get it. Okay. Or if you need, I can e-transfer or whatever. But. This is awesome. Just what I wanted to see on my way home was a sweet yard sale. <laughs> okay, I stay in the shade. I'll take all this Betty Boop stuff. Wow. Oh my God. Stuff. Really? Well, I'll see how this stuff does, and then if it if it does, I know where to how to get a hold of you. Yep. Yeah, because I've been collecting her for since I was a kid. Really? And I. That's cute. That's awesome too. So I just got back to town, and I've come across two yard sales both near my house this one that i'm at right now looks to have all kinds of collectible stuff and the one i was just at found a bunch of betty boop stuff so i had no intentions of stopping at yard sales but i found some so let's find some good stuff while i'm here i'm so excited wwf magazines Pokemon tins. Where are all the cards? Looks like this yard sale probably had some awesome stuff at it, but since it's a Sunday, it's looking a little bit picked over, but still some decent stuff. Nothing I really need. Toronto Maple Leaf stuff. All right, so another weekend has come and gone and I only managed to make it to two yard sales. I didn't think I was gonna get to any, but I did do a bunch of thrifting out of town. So I wanna show you all the cool stuff I found and the, some of the stuff that I picked up at the yard sales. Start with the thrift stuff. This is one of the coolest things, the Frady Cats board game, and it does have the dog in there. I've gotta test it and get it working, but this I believe was $7.99, yeah. And if this is working, it's gonna be worth significantly more than that. It will make an awesome short video. This was $5.99. This is the Starlight Castle Polly Pocket set. Now it came with some uh, of the newer Polly Pockets that I'm gonna to give to my kids. The castle itself's in really good shape and I do have some replacement figures for it. I'm gonna check one thing. Let's see if this knight, thought maybe a figure might be hiding behind it. So yeah, this I gotta test the batteries on this too, but this is like a $50, $60 Polly Pocket. Here's the bag I picked up. The reason I bought this bag is it's got both the bananas and pajamas in it. B1 and B2. They're vinyl figures in good shape. And there's also a kind of like a knockoff troll doll in here, as well as a newer Cabbage Patch doll that I'm going to probably redonate or put out of yard. Bag set. of Weeples. So in the 80s, there was this like craze of toys, I guess. And they were called Weeples. So there was a whole bunch of them. They're just little guys with feet and stick on eyeballs that you would uh, give to people or even fast food places gave them out. And I love seeing them because they all, a lot of them had message messages on them. Discover a deal. They're like a promotional item. Uh, some of these are pretty beat up, but there's some cool ones. And the feet themselves had stickers on them so you could stick them to like your dashboard. Think of like bobbleheads and stuff like that now. But there's some cool ones. I'm not gonna go through the whole bag, but this bag is jam packed. Now this bag was cool. 
$3.99. These are like old school wall art. In fact, and they're, they're not wall art. They are plastic. cake toppers. But these ones, these are from 1992. How cool are those? Batman. That was the reason why I bought it, the Batman ones. There's some like other ones right here, like golf themed. I got this little bag. I'm not going to open it up. The reason I bought it um, right here, I'll show you. There are a bunch of like Polly Pocket miniature Pirates of the Caribbean figures. There's a ton of them in here. And there's even a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle accessory. This is a rat that goes to the rat king thing. This is a definitely dinosaurs Triceratops for $4.99. It's worth about 20 bucks. If it had the mount and the rider, it'd be worth significantly more. I gotta get this working. It's a handheld golf game from the 90s. I did the Radica fishing rod. This is the golf game, so. Wish me luck getting that ready. Here are the two VHS tapes I picked up, Starman and California. Uh, underrated movie for sure. Brad Pitt in this one is really good. Um, the last thrift find was just someone made these keychains. They're tiny little Pokemon miniature figures. Uh, these are like the original ones and they made them into keychains. So I'll probably just keep them as keychains. There's four for $1.99. And then I got lucky to hit a yard sale with a whole bunch of baby boop or Betty boop stuff. This is a candy tin. It's never been opened. The guy said he had way more of this stuff if I was interested in it. I'll see how this does before I contact him. This is a Betty Boop uh, heirloom ornament. I think it makes music too. So come Christmas time, we might do videos on that. Uh, Betty Boop doodle dudes. It's like a pen. These are all two bucks brand new. So I'm assuming they're going to be worth more than that. A little dog keychain. I don't know what her dog's name was. If you know, let me know in the comments. And this is the final one, the pen set. These are pretty cool. Uh, Betty Boop is kind of like a niche, like fandom. There's not that many of them anymore, but the ones that there are, they will buy stuff. So I have sold Betty Boop stuff quite often. And then this was the last thing. I think it's probably like one of the coolest things that I found, a Marilyn Monroe heirloom ornament. And uh, Marilyn Monroe stuff does well for me. So if I had to highlight the coolest things I found this weekend, I'm going to say that finding both the bananas and pajamas, the Polly Pocket, and this board game, probably the best finds. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. And did you make some yard sales this weekend? Did you make it to some? What was the coolest thing you found? I'd love to hear what you, if you had a lot of success. I feel like I missed out on a lot of yard sales because getting back to the city, I saw so many signs. Good news is next weekend is a full bore, 100% go wild yard sale week. I will be going to as many as I can and recording it all for you guys. So this will be the last kind of hybrid video for a while because now we are in the thick yard sale season and I'm not missing anymore. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week.